Our voyage started a bit rocky. That's Cole, our guide, lowering our raft 20 feet down a slippery, snowy bank. My question now is, do I need to go down there? <laughs> Got a nice little uh, groomed trail for you. <laughs> the river might be glamorous, but not the trek to get there. Our chariot has arrived. Oh yeah. Our chariot is a okay. custom-built boat um, crafted to perfectly navigate the waters of the Nooksack River. The white water doesn't even break a sweat for coal. Nooksack River is like a box of chocolates. You never really know what you're going to get. We're floating about eight or nine miles on the Nooksack. It's going to take us about four hours. And I think it's beautiful here. It's probably the closest you can get to Alaska here in the lower 48. It'll take an hour before we see our first eagle. Until then, we glide through the Nooksack's canyons. We cozy up to her frozen waterfalls. We dodge and dance past her boulders. I just want to point out how comfortable Cole looks. Look at that, he's <laughs> lounging there. His legs are crossed and that's the water below him. <laughs> yes, sir. Do, do you need a hot chocolate? Um, well, actually, a margarita? Yes, I, I would, yes. <laughs> at the halfway mark, still no eagles yet. Here, it's on foot for me and Wayne. He's the owner of the guide company, Skagit River Eagles. We trudge through an untouched bank for a half mile. Cole, on the other hand, gets a workout, pushing the raft around water too shallow to support us. And now Wayne and I are getting back in. Back on the river, I can barely feel my hands. And naturally, this is the moment the eagles start to appear. They decorate the trees like Christmas ornaments. It just blows my mind every time I see the mass concentrations of birds. You know, when you see 30, 40, 50, 60 birds just everywhere, it's, it's cool. So much freedom. The eagles almost seem to pose. They taunt us with their majesty. Sometimes, make that most of the time, they fly away before you're ready for them to leave. Here's one of my favorite photos. One eagle up close, another blurry in the distance. Wow, it's tough snapping photos from a moving boat. For every one picture that looks like this, I'll have to delete 30, 40, or 50 that look like this. Well, most of these birds are migratory, so they're coming down from Alaska, Canada. Winter happens sooner in Alaska. The days are getting shorter, faster there. The salmon are running sooner there. It's the salmon that brings these birds to the Nooksack. We put our GoPro underwater for a moment looking for the fish. This is the meal the eagles fly hundreds, thousands of miles to savor. Uh, but all these birds are just uh, coming down as winter forces them to. Four hours later, cold, wet, but satisfied. I think we got some great eagle pictures. What do you guys think? I think it was a pretty killer day. I'm Good. cold and satisfied as well. We counted 400 birds today. Magnificent, enchanting, and freezing cold. On the Nooksack River, Dan Casuto, King 5 News.